everybody, Anthony from Tactipac here, and you know a good concealed carry training uh, is train the way you carry, that's the philosophy. And so I carry uh, at least once a week with a tucked in shirt, uh, just like you see here, with a Glock 19, and so I have to train that way. And granted, it is slower than an untucked shirt in the appendix position, and I am uh, on the hip, Glock 19, tucked in shirt. It's slower, but I would rather be slower uh, than not have anything with me at all. And so that's the way I train. Train the way you fight. Uh, train the way you carry. When your shirt's tucked, you have options. You can do the two-handed grab, uh, but in the event you only have one hand, you need to be able to uh, get to your gun one-handed, untuck your shirt one hand, draw the gun one hand. Uh, and so I practice both. When I'm carrying on the hip, I use a, a fusion pack. It has no belt clips, uh, has its own internal belt, stays put right where you need it to. Uh, and this is even a thicker, you know, winter type uh, shirt, uh, thicker jeans. And then I do have a gun belt on, uh, but the holster stays put the way it needs to. Uh, the beauty of this holster is you just tuck in normally. Uh, like you normally would, you know, you don't have any clips on your belt And it just rides inside your belt And you just tuck your shirt in you don't have to do gymnastics uh, to get your holster on So then you're tucked and it actually helps if you have a little bit of blouse, but you just uh, don't tuck it nice and uh, Deep and too tight it looks funny anyway, and then you grab that blouse And pull way up get the gun Hold on, wait a minute. One of the other things I do uh, using the Fusion Pack is I leave the bottom button on a long tailed shirt tucked in like this, I leave it undone. That just gives me a little bit more uh, latitude on the uh, shirt tail as I pull it up. It's not uh, super tight down there around my waist and then it comes up nice and, uh, nice and smooth to where you can get to the gun. So think of all the places you need a tucked in shirt, whether it's work, school, if you're an administrator or a student where they allow uh, firearms on campus in the few places in America, uh, or church. Uh, if you are part of a church security force or you attend a church that allows uh, concealed carry amongst the congregation or you are a pastor uh, or another authority in the church that is allowed to do that. Um, formal gatherings semi-formal gatherings uh, where you need to have a tucked in shirt. Uh, this is an option for you. Again, it's slower than traditional untucked uh, IWB, but it's not that much slower. And with practice, uh, I certainly can get proficient at it. One of the things I found helpful for clearing the garment is when you go to grab, don't try and necessarily grab over the gun, you can, but grab under the gun, almost level with the butt of the gun where it is, and next to it here in the front. So you can see that. Then clear that garment nice and high, like you're doing an upright row when you're working out. Nice and high, and then go down with the draw hand. So it kind of looks like, you see I'm keeping this hand up so it's nice and clear, and then I'm punching out. The other thing when I do when I tuck in for the day, instead of trying to pull out and blouse, I just kind of stretch upward, let the shirt 
naturally fall the way it would. The other thing I'm doing every time I reholster is I'm visually and physically inspecting the mouth of the holster. Notice I'm keeping the gun canted out, and then when I insert that gun into the holster, I'm taking my time and visually inspecting that it's clear of obstruction and keeping my finger off the trigger. So practice safety uh, every time you train. As always, I'd like to thank you for making the choice to defend yourself and those you love. God bless you and yours.